Hello YouTube people, in this video I will make fun of you. <laughs> yeah, but I, I will explain myself, no offense, it's just my personal point of view. Now in this video I am going to show you this SKME watch that you have recommended me. This is Casio A168 Homage. And I will tell you straight away, I don't like Casio homages. And generally homages that prices are very close to the original things. So let me explain myself the way I see things. There are those homage watches that are copycats. They try their best to look as the original thing. The only difference is that, well, obviously quality is not the same and the name on the dial is different. So two categories. First category is where the price difference between the homage and the original thing is immeasurable. It's like another world item. So for example, this 36 millimeter Pagan design, which has day and date complications, wonderful watch by the way, the, the review is coming up. This 100 euro watch is perfectly justifiable in my opinion, because the original thing on, on, on which design this one is based off, it simply doesn't exist in my physical environment, in, in my world. It, I can only see that thing on pictures on the internet and YouTube videos, but exactly that thing just simply doesn't exist for me personally it's like some kind of mythological figure <laughs> considering the price and everything else it's just ridiculous so for me this is perfectly justifiable although to be honest when i wear something like this i still feel like a little bit of fun is missing because i'm not wearing something original i'm wearing something unoriginal and that does take a little bit of fun away but that doesn't mean that this watch is not justifiable now what is not justifiable? What comes close to not justifiable is this me watch, uh, Tissot PRX Homage. Tissot PRX is a watch that I can go to the nearest uh, shopping mall and buy. It's available everywhere and it's not that ridiculous to be honest. But this me is still still doesn't cross the line because it costs as a toy, as well, almost like kinder surprise of a watch. It costs 20 euros. You buy it, you enjoy it, you beat it, you throw it away basically. And on top of that, this dial looks simply unbelievable. Unbelievable. Now, you were recommending me another watch in the review of this Kmi watch, which the name I don't remember. It's like something like WWOOR. Very stupid name, I don't even remember. But that homage of Tissot PRX costs 60 euros. While Looking on classifiers on my local market, I could get used Tissot PRX for 250 euros. I would, I would have to look hard, but that's possible. And that homage watch cost 60 euros. For me personally, that's too close. That's a little bit ridiculous. If I would buy that 60 euro homage watch and wear, I would feel like I'm trying to make fool of myself. I would feel really uncomfortable. I would feel really stupid. It's like very undignifying. It's when you it and speaking about undignifying, it's the same thing, especially with such an icon watches as this Casio uh, Casio A one six eight, and this is a homage to that watch, which costs very close to the original thing. It's very undignified. It's like I I don't want to look down on you, do whatever you want, you spend money on whatever you want, but I'm just trying to explain my point of view. This costs 12 euros the thing on which this one is based off costs 25 euros on a good day on a bad day 35 euros something like that it's just too close it's just you know you're just trying to fool yourself with this i i was a little bit of a fan of skme watches back in the day while they were still making original watches or original digital watches like this one and I was really hoping that SKME is going to become this big respectable brand that makes cheap digital watches like Casio and they're going to compete with each other and it's going to be fun and I will have a lot more options to choose from. But instead SKME went down another route and they started making homages to Casio watches and they lost my respect because of that. They still make very good digital watches, don't get me wrong, very good, very cheap digital watches. But... Those Casio homages, I mean, just no, 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 it's just fooling yourself and I, I don't even know how to explain that well, but it's just no, no. 
So I, I, I don't even have enough motivation to do a review on this watch, but I still have some questions about how this watch is made and whatever. So let's take a better look at this watch. But I really hope I laid, laid down my opinion about these kind of homages fairly well. I hope I have not insulted anyone, but I just want to you know, form a little bit public opinion. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. The whole point of Casio watches is that they are icons, they are very good watches, and they are very cheap. And instead, you go for a little bit extra cheap with these kind of Skme watches. Anyway, let's take a look at this Skme watch. There is no surprise that this watch looks rather good because it is based on a nice looking watch. Now let's put all the subjective opinions aside and let's take a look at this watch from the technical standpoint. And the first thing that has surprised me is the bracelet. Usually when I take cash with this kind of bracelet and put it on my wrist, I unintentionally stiffen a little bit like, oh, it's about to hurt. And Casio usually pulls a little bit of hair and I put it on in place, secure it, and it's fine. So if this watch was like, I'm putting it on my wrist, I'm like tensioning like, oh, it's about to hurt and nothing. It actually doesn't pull hair. So that's very surprising, even though edges are rather sharp, but it feels all right. So the Skme somehow have improved upon Casio design on the bracelets. <laughs> now, another thing is the clasp. Clasp, Casio clasps are better. This one was rather difficult to micro adjust. Um, case is made of chrome plated alloy, while Casio is just a chrome plated plastic. And everything else is fairly close, uh, except for this belly on the case back. Because of this belly and because of chrome plated alloy case weighs, weighs more than Casio does, this watch feels surprisingly top heavy. So because of that belly, it, it sits a little bit higher and feels a little bit, no, it's just too happy. It just moves a little bit too much on my wrist. So that's, that's no good. Casio feels a lot better. And how is backlight? Let me show you backlight. Backlight looks like on a Casio, no, not much of a difference. And in case if you're wondering, I want to show you one thing. This is the, uh, I have this Skme watch for over seven years now. And this is how backlight looks like after several years. Well, after many years, those backlights tend to fade away. That's the reason why Casio uses mostly LED backlights on their watches now, because they are much more reliable in terms of a longevity of many years this is f91w by the way so yeah initially it is good but adding many years it fades out anyway if you want really good cheap good uh skme watch i highly recommend this one i will put link in the description seven years in the bezel the golden bezel is still holding up fairly fairly well it still runs on its original battery very very good watch check it out link in the description don't buy casio homages buy something like this now back to this watch um speaking about this watch i really wonder why it has this big of a belly so let's take off the case back and let's see what's behind it now what do we have behind oh okay okay that changes things a little bit i was complaining about that big belly but the big belly is because of big battery hmm big battery is always good right no i would still choose small battery but slimmer case that's for me personally and overall i just i just don't like this watch now uh, this watch costs around 12 euros and original Casio costs 25 euros, 30 euros. Listen, I do understand what, that for some people, for actually for many, many people in the world, 30 euros is big money. I understand it perfectly well. And especially if you are in this kind of environment, in this kind of economical situation where you can't easily buy 30 euro Casio watch, instead you look for cheaper substitutes like this a little bit cheaper Skme watch 
I, I would like to give you other recommendations because even that 30 euro cash is not a good watch. It's not. It's just beautiful toy quality watch. It scratches very easily. It is afraid of water. It loses value like crazy. And especially if you're in this kind of economical situation, you probably should care about value as well. And in that position, I would suggest you looking at used watches, like used Casio with chrome plated alloy cases. If you find one good condition, you can get a very nice watch for fairly cheap. Like previously, I found that rectangular uh, Casio watch that looks a little bit like Cartier tank. 15 euros for that watch. That I don't remember exactly how much I paid. I, I believe around 15 euros. That's in, insane, gorgeous watch. And technically, technically, technically speaking, it is a lot better than that shiny plastic Casio watch. Also, if you really want something like small and a little bit like Casio, no, just buy Casio, buy F91W, incredible watch. And because it's black plastic, scratches don't show up easily. And it keeps its value rather well. F91W as well. I mean, and speaking from used watches, you can buy something like uh, Swatch watches. I mean... Even from the SME themselves, they have plenty of options to choose from original design, very good watches, very robust with 50 meters of water resistance and so on. Just stay away from those Casio homages, please. It's just stupid. Don't fool yourself. It's just no, 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 no. Why are you doing this? It's not even like a toy watch. It's just no toy watch. Why buy Casio? No. Anyway. I guess you got my point. I go. I hope I haven't insulted anyone, because when I have opinion about something, I usually project that opinion in a relatively aggressive way. I would say, and I always have to keep myself a little bit restrained to sound a little bit more polite, uh, uh, especially when it comes to subject like this. But I hope I hope you got my point. I hope you aren't gonna waste your money anymore on watches like this. Just no, buy cheap Casio, buy used Casio. Don't buy me cash homages. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.